Well, um, this is the uh, simple theory. Here we have a neomagnetic uh, metal magnet. Uh, it could be a uh, round, square, whatever. Um, in this case, we have a person holding a magnet, and as you move it, you could also move uh, the uh, the magnet over here, which is another one. This is a smaller size. So here we have a large cube uh, moving a smaller one right here. Uh, what it does is when you put a magnet, a new magnet, close to a, a copper plate, then the magnetic field travels freely all the way across with nothing in between. So in this case, from the metal plate to the other magnet, it's 12 inches. So if you have, uh, let's say, 5 or 6 inches to the plate, you have this uh, magnet, and you move it around, at the same time, you're going to move this smaller cube same way. So whatever you move this one, you move this one. So uh, there's nothing in between space. So it's 12 inches apart. So my theory is, is have, um, this is an example only, let's pretend these are little magnets. It could be all the way the size of a wall or height of a person. So if you move one magnet forward, in this case backwards, and then the other one forward, and then the other one backwards, it transfers that to um, this person. This person's got a, a flexible um, flexible bodysuit made of a magnetic um, neon or, or any kind of magnetic material. So when, when these blocks of uh, rectangular blocks of uh, neomagnetic are pushed forward or backwards, the, this person will feel the, uh, the pressure uh, as if you're touching the person. So if one, or one of these blocks pushes forward, like over here, he's going to feel it, and the other one relieves pressure, he's going to feel it. So if he's got a bodysuit of a magnetic bodysuit, like a, a flexible one, then whatever this causes, he'll f feel the, uh, pres uh, the, uh, the feeling. So what if, you know, uh, let's pretend uh, this is a nail, and you got a couple of wiring connected to a battery that is a magnet, okay? So you can turn it on and off depending on the battery electricity. Uh, if you turn the electricity off, the magnet, tur ma magnet turns off. Anyway, uh, what if you have this kind of um, um, size of a human, you know, let's say, yeah, just a, just a little um, person stick. Anyway, you got these dots here. These dots are um, not nails, but let's say rods with uh, copper wiring, and each one's got a little con connection to the electricity, so they can turn on and off and stuff. And it'd be just like this, like um, magnetic uh, uh, um, uh, neomagnet rods, you know, or whatever. When they push in and out, he can feel it. So, but in this case, you got another person on the internet, um, and its body uh, information is sent to to the computer, uh, and then this computer activates certain uh, rods, and they get activated or deactivated. And what it feels like is as if one person on the other side of the internet is. Um, Hugging this person, and let's pretend it's giving a hug. This person will feel, feel hugging of uh, uh, through the internet, uh, but through this concept, um, like a, any kind of technology can be used good for good or, or evil and stuff. But you know that's up to the person. Um, but anyway, 